I miss him so much. I really do. Kathy Park's father, Paul, died of COVID in long-term care on April 15th, a week after the Ontario government ordered care home workers to wear masks. By the time the province acted, 119 long-term care residents had already died, according to CBC data. There's no guarantee that he would still be alive, but he would have had a better chance had precautions been taken sooner. From that slow move on masking to long wait times for test results, Ontario's Auditor General slammed the province's COVID-19 response. In a time of crisis, the systems that people needed weren't in place. The AG found Ontario was slower to act than other provinces, with a decision-making process that was overly cumbersome, not led by public health expertise, and plagued by delays and confusion. The premier fired back. Don't start pretending you're a, you're a doctor or a health professional because I can tell you, you aren't. But health professionals aren't always leading the response, says the AG, who found Ontario's pandemic command structure is overseen more by bureaucrats than Chief Medical Officer of Health, Dr. David Williams. Not so, said Ford. But to sit in the office and throw hand grenades at, at Dr. Williams and his team and the Minister of Health is totally unacceptable. The health minister said no province is perfect and points out. Outside of Atlantic Canada and the territories, Ontario has the lowest rate of COVID-19 cases per 100,000. These are the facts, plain and simple. Still, Ontario is deep into the second wave. Cases rising, Toronto and neighboring Peel region locked down. Kathy Parks hoped lessons would be learned from the first wave, but she fears not enough action has been taken. For a lot of family members, we, we've been so let down for so long and things haven't been done for so long. It's discouraging. Ellen Morrow, CBC News, Toronto.